What's up everybody? This is Miss Tech Not Fancy back with another video. In today's topic, I will be discussing my thoughts on the upgradable consoles in the future. Uh, we've been hearing about the PS4.5 um, being able to stream 4K videos. <coughs> Excuse me. We don't know if they mean, um, Sony mean about uh, gaming in 4K, but we do know that uh, we'll be able to stream like YouTube, you know, Netflix, Amazon, what, whatever. Like, we'll, I think those streaming service will be able to, you know, see the 4K on those. Um, I think so far we're gonna know about that games, future games. That is, we'll be able to be in a locked frame rate. So hopefully we end up having a locked 60 frames with the specs that are going to be in the PS4.5 or PS4 Neo. Uh, we know that it will be a, a basic mode and a neo mode which is going to be interesting. So uh, my thoughts is how would these third party publishers approach this neo mode? Would you know would they have issues with their games running on neo mode or will basic mode even have more problems compared to neo mode? So we're just that's something to see. So but hopefully since most of these third party um, publishers usually make these mostly uh, AAA games for PC for example for the uh, Division I th we hear that you know well we already know that Division looks better on the PC so maybe you know they have you know hopefully games uh, like the PS4 and the, even the next Xbox want to have better graphics you know compared to PS compared to the PS uh, not PS but play, uh, PC excuse me but um yeah i think that's pretty i will i will have a link of an article about the ps4.5 in the description below but my thoughts on it <coughs> excuse me um i might buy it um i don't i think the real the, the only reason i would buy a ps4.5 is for the steady um frame rate and better graphics when it comes to the f uh, 4k streaming i won't be able to appreciate the um the 4k streaming because i don't have a 4k tv i only have a 1080p tv so with that said i'm only able to um i'm only able to like you know see the better frame rate but which is like i'm not really bugging about that but also too i have to see about pricing if this too much i won't buy it it is like you know a bit around if it's under the $500 mark that'd be fine um, I also want to know it uh, I also want to know would Sony would they actually make parts for the PS4 Neo you know what I mean like would they manufacture you know hardware or do we have to go to a third party to get hardware you know what I mean so that's kind of that's that's my more of my concern same thing with the Xbox one uh slim or whatever the next xbox console will be if, if it is upgradable i i think about the same way because if, if i find out that you know everything runs well like meaning that you know uh microsoft and sony will actually accommodate to the customers when it comes to pricing of the you know extended hardware then i end up buying it but um hopefully both of these consoles that do come out if it is true hopefully they're under the 500 hundred dollar mark you know what i mean so um, but I know most people probably gonna say, "Well, you might as well get a PC," which I will get a PC, um, but probably not this year. Maybe this year. I'm not really sure, but I know that um, building a PC t is very time-consuming, and mostly I probably it, once I do get my gaming PC, I probably use it more for um, programming since I know programming um, on gaming PCs are the best. You know what I mean? So we're able to. It, like programs just run so smoothly on um, on gaming PCs if you guys are if some of you guys if you guys are learning programming or in graphic design you will just see the performance of your computer when once you're like really like working hard on a project you'll see the huge difference versus a basic like you know um, computer with the basic like you know specs in it but yeah my thoughts on like anyway back on my thoughts on these upgradable consoles I think it's like I said I think it's a good idea hopefully um the lifespan of these consoles will be longer than last generation um I, we'll see how the market will see you know we have to see how the market acts around this but anyway thank you for watching my video give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time bye